Hey, hey, hey guys, and welcome back to best YouTube channel. And it's all very good to see you back here watching the new videos again. Just a few things before we get started. Um, I want to tell you that, you know, invest in the mining, especially in GPU mining, is not a very good idea at the moment. But if you still want to do it, you know, nobody could hold you back from it. And also if you are a fanatic, mining fanatic like I am. Um, so, yeah, we will do... Um, one of the newest versions, graphics cards, testing for mining Ethereum. Um, so I have here, I have here the AMD um, RX 5700 and RX 50700 XT. Um, they both come on the, uh, on seven nanometer, uh, technology uh, they do have 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM which is supposed to be very good uh, for uh, especially Ethereum mining as you know Ethereum mining is all about uh, mostly about that memory so I have the rig here behind me um, it's built into the 12 GPU box you, so some of you might see that I uh, had a, a review a couple of weeks ago probably um, so I'm just going to go through what parts I have, what hash rates I get, what power usage, what power clocks, what software I'm using. Uh, by the way, I, I tested this on uh, Simple Mining and also on HiveOS. As HiveOS came out yesterday uh, with a beta image file which supports these uh, graphics cards. So... So yeah, as you can see the case, um, this is the 12 GPU case, what I have uh, inside is the uh, 6, 6 RX 5700 series and one of them is the um, XT version. I just want to tell you before, you know, the XT version, version I don't see any point to pay extra 10, 20 percent uh, when you can go get only, you know, a less than a percent uh, increase in hash rate. So the XT version um, currently hashing on Hive OS is 55, uh, sorry, mega hash, and the uh, uh, normal version without XT is uh, 53.88, so 1.2 mega hash more from the XT version. Um, so I have the power supply, 2300 watt, and I have the on the motherboard. Um, yeah, so there's the 64 gigabyte uh, mini uh, SSD card, and also have uh, DDR4, uh, four gigabytes of RAM in this um, case. So maybe let's go to and check out uh, what kind of hash rates I'm getting. Uh, and what kind of overclocks I do and uh, you know see the differences between the RX 5700 RX 5700 XT and the um, RX 570s So as you can see I am uh, using Hive OS and I'm mining Ethereum using the uh, Phoenix miner, latest Phoenix miner. Um, there's no extra settings uh, set up in the Phoenix miner, just an ordinary setup uh, which comes in Hive OS for default. Um, I'm running some overclocks on the graphics cards, so you can see in the system I have a 1RX uh, 5700 XT and rest of them, five of the other cards is the RX 5700. I just wanted to uh, have one card different to compare. Is it really worth of paying extra uh, 10 to 20% on the GPU just to receive a little bit more hash rate? So the overclocks I have is the core clock is 1340. Uh, I do have my memory overclock 
on the uh, RX 5700 series I have at 930 megahertz and on the XT version I have 950. I tried, tried also 950 on the uh, normal version uh, but the uh, GPUs couldn't handle the overclock and they were hashing uh, lower uh, than they are hashing at the moment. Um, so you can see I can get uh, the uh, speed from the mining Ethereum is from XT version is 55 mega hash and uh, from the normal version is 53.8 which is I think it's great um, just because the power usage is unbelievable um, so the whole system for six GPUs uses 950 watts and these cards you know you know they are still quite new and there's you know the, the software support is still very low and uh, you know I assume it will be you know developed more in the future that uh, you could even reduce more power usage on the graphics cards and increase the hash rate and stability because uh, the drivers is not still still not perfect uh, for these graphics cards for mining and just to compare the XT version ver uh, against the uh, normal version 5700 series um, I don't think there is any point of paying premium uh, for this graphics card just to receive a little bit more hash because you'll be paying a lot more price per hash with the XT version than you would pay a price per hash with the normal version and it seems like the power usage is the same on these graphics cards next up is just to fill the uh, 12 GPU case with 12 graphics cards I wanted to test and compare uh, the RX 5700 series against the RX 5700 series did I say that right 570 uh, series against the 5700 series I think that I did say right this time um, yeah so I wanted to test just to see the difference um, you still can run these on Hive OS uh, all together uh, but the, 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 the you, you cannot use the uh, you know AMD uh, tweak tool on all of them uh, you can use the only on the RX uh, 570 graphics cards and uh, yeah you know the total hash rate what I is getting from the uh, rig is 500 uh, mega hashes which is uh, pretty good uh, and the power of power efficiency is also quite good you know it is um, 1650 watts from the wall I have some more the RX 5700 series on the way so I want to install total 12 GPUs in this case and uh, um, and see you know the, the, the hash rate should go about 640 650 megahertz for 12 uh, graphics cards which is you know a lot if you think so but it's not so lot uh, from the probability perspectives you know <laughs> when you look at the uh, look at the uh, uh, profitability charts you know 500 mega hash mining rig will bring you only about five US dollars uh, a day um, and that's not including the power you know if you include the power it will be only you know a couple dollars one two dollars depending on where you are and what's your uh, power power cost you know at the five cents it will be a profit three US dollars per day which is still very low uh, if we uh, compare this um, for 2017 December profitability so I think I have said everything if something comes up in your mind uh, please comment down below what kind of tests you want to do um, I will try on the other currencies and see the benchmark testing and you know see the profitability testing on there they, they might be more efficient somewhere else but I, I do think that Ethereum will be the most profitable on these cards um, yeah but you know as, as AMD has usually been uh, very good for Ethereum mining you know the the RX uh, 5700 series has been good, very good for Ethereum and 570 series has been good for Ethereum 
and Monero. But Monero is now switching to a new mining algorithm, which will basically eliminate the GPUs. And I do think you know these should be good for 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 mining Ethereum and the Ethereum Classic and the other other shit coins which uses uh, Ethereum mining algorithm. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video um, and you found value from the from this. If you did, um, hit the like button, share with your friends, and uh, yeah, do something, do something. Comment down below. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, I see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.